Well, one reason to walk to Beacon Hill Park may be that you won't have to look for parking. It's always at a premium in downtown Victoria, especially in the summer. It's even worse as tourism operators compete with, uh, for space with passenger vehicles. As CTV Stephanie Sherlock shows us tonight, the city's bringing in new bylaws that will charge a premium for downtown parking for tourism operators, as well as new rules about how they can do business. Up, up. A fixture on sunny summer streets in Victoria, this year they will abide by a new set of written rules. We've uh, allowed them extended the area in which they can uh, apply their trade in the downtown. However, out of concern both for the passengers and for the animals, we've restricted that they cannot be uh, utilized during the rush hour. Horses will be limited to nine hour work days with a maximum of six people in their carriages at any time. Ultimately what we're looking for is passenger safety and humane treatment of the animals. This new bylaw in terms of the the animals and how they're comported downtown is not m really much of a change from what we've been doing. The changes come less than a year after a horse was spooked by a close encounter with a tour bus in Chinatown. It threw its driver and took a visiting woman on what she called a ride from hell. Just really thankful that I'm alive because I didn't think I would be. The incident sparked calls for change, but while carriage operations are addressed in the bylaw, tour bus operations are not. You know, it may be something that not only we look at the horse-drawn carriage industry, it may be something that in the future we'll need to look at tour buses and uh, where they're going. They will have to pay more to reserve premium parking, though, as will carriages and pedicabs. Uh, basically, they're renting the space to use for, for parking. And we need to keep it in line with other people that are using the space for parking as well. We're going to have to spend more money before we make money. Tally Ho will pay about 30% more. A drop in the bucket, say local pedicab companies, their parking costs will more than double. I would suggest perhaps we could uh, phase that increase in rather than have one of my expenses increase by, you know, 100%. The third reading of the bylaw is scheduled for sometime in March. Stephanie Sherlock, CTV News, Victoria.